Hi guys, welcome back to another video with a moment with Razor. Yours truly. So let's see. A couple of videos ago, I went ahead and I uploaded when I went to get my nose pierced. That was eventful. Um, I've been contemplating for quite a while the idea of getting a piercing. When I was younger, um, I had a, a tongue ring, but that lasted maybe two weeks because the person I was dating at the time, my son's father, he was like, nah, I'm not with that. So I was like, okay. So that, when you, I got that one, that didn't hurt as they were doing it. But as the hours passed, definitely did hurt. It's a moist area, so obviously it was going to take forever for it to heal. So when I started doing my research in regards to my nose piercing, I started watching videos, what to expect, how to take care of it. And I, you know, you don't know what to expect. You, you know, you get anxious. You get anxious. So I finally went, got it done. So if you haven't seen the video, go a couple of like videos back and you'll see it i think i did pretty pretty well toughed it out i bled which i knew was gonna happen same thing happened when i got my tattoo i'm a bleeder go figure um but move forward i've had this piercing for two months exactly two months and at first everything was perfectly fine i've taken care of it the exact same way i was instructed to do so i'm very thorough i'm very particular it is on my face not that i'm shallow but nobody wants to have anything happen to their face i don't want any infections i don't want nothing crazy i've seen some horror stories so with that being said i do wear makeup obviously so makeup is really not a best friend for this piercing so I've seen so many videos in regards to, they call it bumps, right? So the proper terminology would be keloids. So it's just a way of your body reacting to something foreign. Either you bumped it, got caught with something, which that happened to me and just the thought of it. Ah, it's not a fun time. And I don't get used to the tickling. I, I don't. It's like the one I have, I want a hoop. I don't want the stud. But then this one, it has a, like a hook. So every time it moves around, it tickles. But yeah, I, I get lost easily. <laughs> Point was that I've had it for two months and I've taken care of it. And by me applying makeup, I make sure, you know, it doesn't get around my nose area. But I did develop a bump. Several bumps. It'll go away, it'll come back. It'll go away, it'll come back. I've tried so many different things that i've seen suggestions i've tried the sea salt where you know you get some warm water you dissolve the sea salt you get the q-tip and you apply it or you apply the warm conference with it i mean i kind of saw results but not really and and i know everybody's different i get it not everybody's the same your body doesn't react the same not everybody heals the same way but for me that didn't quite work out so I'm always asking people, especially those that have nose piercings. And I've asked a couple of people, I've heard a couple of great things about this product, right? So I had to go and buy it. So I went on Amazon, I have Amazon Prime, so which comes in handy. I got it pretty much, what, the next day? And what I did order, I'm about to show you, this is like, not to overly hype the product, I'm not getting, any any benefit from promoting this product because they don't know me from a hole in the wall but i like to share what has proved to work for me at least everybody's different like i said so i don't want you to just go ahead and buy it and be like well Raisa, you said this and you said that now it isn't working for me i know what has worked for me and i've only been using it for two days two days right and i have to tell you guys that I'm like, what is this? God's tears in here? Like, what is it? It's really good. So this is what I've been using. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the um, tea tree oil. Some of you guys may be, maybe not. I don't know if you guys could see it right then and there, but this is what I've ordered. Let me put it a little closer. This is my one ounce. 
this is one ounce right there hopefully you guys could see it clearly so I'll show you how it looks it has a, an odor it's nothing crazy but I'm not a fan of the of the aroma that it has but this is how it comes you see the little the tip that's how it comes so it's a bit strong um, some people from the comments I've read don't like it at all personally I don't feel like it lingers around too much and because I put it around my nose area I'm gonna smell it more than I you know than I would typically smell it anywhere else but this is the way that I do it so you're gonna grab some q-tips um, I grab at least two because I'm very very particular I like to make sure that my face especially this area is clean before I apply it so what I do is I take my q-tip like I stated and I just apply like I put the tip of the q-tip right here it's a clean q-tip it's brand new so you I either do it like this where you see the drops falling on the q-tip boom right there and I make sure that the q-tip is moist all around and you can actually see it soaking it up so all that I do and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna try to get a little up close and personal so you guys can see um, how it's looking and how I apply it and I don't have a mirror in front of me so I don't know exactly how close to it I'm doing it but I'll get a little closer to you guys so this is my piercing and I have to say all around that area I had the bump was so visible oh my goodness it was just swollen it was just completely irritated if I tapped it it hurt a lot and eventually it just popped um, a lot of blood like I said I do bleed a lot and my concern is for it to get scarred. So once I started using this, I'm telling you, in just 24 hours, it dried it completely out. That's what you're gonna see. Expect to see, the, and that's to sound nasty. If you get easily grossed out, my apologies, but let's be real. Um, you're going to see how it scabs, the little crusties around. You want to see that. That means that your body is healing. So what I do is I take the Q-tip um, with the tea tree oil already um, on it, and I go all around it. Like I said, I'm, I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm probably way off from the piercing. My bad. But all you wanna do is go around the piercing. Let it soak up. I particularly go from the inside as well and kind of like push a little bit out and just cleanse the area on the inside. And I do this at least two to three times a day. Two to three times a day. And honestly, it has worked wonders the bump isn't there it reduced it's a little irritated obviously because it needs to fully heal but I have to say from anything else that I've tried this has proven to be the absolute best honestly I'm not gonna lie to you you can you can come back and be like Raisa you full of it but honestly I know they have so many different brands they have so many different versions of it but this is the one that I I went with and I have to say like so far so good you will feel like a little sting on it like from the product and I will say that it's nothing like you can't tolerate I'm probably messing it all up I can't see what I'm doing but it's, it's nothing crazy if you have a sore on your body obviously if you apply anything you're going to feel some sort of reaction it doesn't burn it just feels like it's working if that makes sense uh, let me see so I will give this product from five stars I will give it a four the only reason I'm giving this a four is because of the smell I'm not a fan it's nothing too too crazy but if we could do without the odor I think that would be amazing but four out of five i think is really really good like anything you've got to be consistent with it keep up with it i have not been playing like i want this piercing to fully heal so i can put my hoop in it i can't wait but i didn't know that a nose piercing took so long for it to heal i spoke to people that had it for a year and they're like yeah still from time to time it still kind of bothers me but it makes sense you know it's a delicate area um but yeah, I just wanted to share that. That works. And I know that tea tree oil, from what I've read, you can use it for so many different things. Like the benefit of it is really, really good. 
Uh, another thing that I used it for, I am very prone to getting bites, mosquito bites, spider bites. Thank you, Nashville. I've never had that in my life until I moved here. And I had one, ironically, on my face yesterday. And yes, I'm wearing makeup, but when you have a bump, it is going to show. I had it right here. And I was like, oh my God, not only is it big, but it itches. My skin is so sensitive. I said, let me go ahead and give it a try. I put some of the tea tree oil one time. I woke up, bump where? Who? Mm, nothing. So I'm telling you, everybody's different. I get it. But for me, that has worked really, 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 really well. So like I said, do it two to three times a day. Be consistent with it. Um, I know that keloids, they will happen. You know, it all depends. They can come from so many different things but they're there so might as well take care of it like i said it's my face i don't want nothing that doesn't need to be on it there so i wanted to take the time to actually share what works versus what hasn't at least for me the sea salt concoction it, it just it just didn't work out it didn't work out it was it wouldn't stay that's another thing that i couldn't stand it wouldn't become like pasty enough for it to stay in place. I wouldn't even put band-aids over that puppy. And guess what? Crumbles. I will wake up full of crumbs of salt. What the heck? No. Mm -mm. I said, this is not for me. I got to find something else. So um, just a quick thing. I don't know if you guys noticed the t-shirt. I don't know if you guys could see all of it. Let me go back. <laughs> so purple boutique, right? I know you follow me on Instagram. I know you guys see it. Right when you go to my bio, I have a code RACER10. If you go to shop Purple Boutique on Instagram, you guys will see. I mean, they have the cutest, comfortable, softest maxi dress, jumpers, and so much more. I know that she sold out real quick, which is a blessing, but I do have to say, I am so pleased to see that not only is it affordable but it's good quality and it feels so good especially with us being at home you want to still look cute and lounge around your house right so i will make sure to include the instagram in this video i will also make sure to include the information of my friend jessica who made this amazing t-shirt for me so if you need anything made for you please make sure to hit her up ladies and gents, because I have gentlemen that follow me. <laughs> Thank you, guys. If you need some, you know, Mother's Day is coming. Mother's Day is coming. So if you need to, you know, just give your girlfriend, friend, admirer, your mom a gift, why not? Go look into it, see what's available, and buy, you know, buy something. A nice gift. It's always welcome. So... Go check it out. And if you that you're watching, you still, still coming back to me, right? Faithfully. Once you get, you know, either you see a video or you just bumped into my channel, you still come check in with me from time to time and you haven't subscribed? May I ask why not? What, what's the reason? Am I not good enough to get a subscription? No? Yes? Maybe? Perhaps? Hey, it's not obligated. But I would really appreciate if I get another subscriber to join the club, join the craziness. Because I am a little touched. Just a little bit. Yeah. But, so with that being said, guys, um, I will try to review more products. I know I've been in a funk. <sighs> Believe me, I am trying my best to shake it up. And I'm working on it. Slowly but surely, I want to be back to my crazy self. Um, but one day at a time, right? We're not perfect. We all struggle with our situations. Life happens to everybody. So I'm still here. I'm still trying to give you guys the best raw form of race that there is. No shame in the game. Uh, let me see. Is there anything I need to update you guys on? Oh my goodness, yes absolutely i did mention mother's day is coming which is may 10th 
on a Sunday, of course. And then on Wednesday, May 13th, my son, my son turns 13, officially a teenager. That hurt kind of hurt to say that I am going to have a teenager <sighs> where did the time go I don't know I don't know I don't know how I feel about that I don't know I, I have a tradition where I always wake him up singing happy birthday to him and I have a feeling that next week I'm going to do the same of course with some tears in my eyes because my goodness I used to hear so many parents that enjoy them you know because they grow up so fast I'm like mm, okay it is so true but i couldn't be more proud of the young man that he is so i'll you know i'll follow up with that i'll do another video where you guys could officially officially meet my son so all right guys enough of that just stay tuned for whatever next i am going to come up with because i have no clue i just do things as they pop up in my head honestly i don't have anything set up or a schedule i just post and i just want to say thank you thank you for each and every one of you that always come back subscribe you comment you know and you just give me feedback and I appreciate that, whether good or bad. I welcome it all because like I said before, that's what helps us grow. And I hope that you guys see that I give you guys uncensored, raw racer. That's just how I like to be because that's what I would expect. That's what I like to see when I'm, when I'm on YouTube and I'm scrolling and I see somebody that's being genuine and I don't know, you could tell. I hope you guys get that from me. So don't forget, shop purple boutique for you know you ladies um i'm gonna include their instagram as well as my friend jessica for her creations and i'll include mine just in case you want to follow if you have any questions by all means guys enjoy this beautiful sunday it is beautiful outside lately we've been blessed with some amazing amazing days so if you're feeling kind of down don't worry things eventually will get better i know with this whole COVID-19 it hasn't been easy for a lot of people plus whatever else happens in life just try to try to stay positive and I know it's easier said than done but believe me you are not alone we all struggle with something in life you're not alone be your biggest fan love yourself motivate yourself do not wait for others to do it for you do something that makes you feel great that makes you feel amazing and it makes you feel alive. So with that being said, guys, until next time. Mwah. Thank you for coming back for a moment with Raisa. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. See ya.